a very lopsided high school football game, but is it bullying? You've probably seen the story in the news. Foxnews.com reports that after Alito High School beat Western Hills High School 91 to zero, the dad of a player on the losing team called foul. The father claims the loss is a form of bullying. He's even filed an online complaint with the school. So we take to the streets to get opinions from locals. Do you consider that a, for a form of bullying, winning a game by that much? I, I don't because, well, it depends on the situation, but in that situation, from what it said in the paper, is the coach took the first team out after 21 plays. So they're gonna try, you know, they're gonna try their best. I mean, how are you gonna slow these kids down? No, I think that's called victory. They're just a good team, obviously. Absolutely not. I think in the real world, we, uh, we work hard, we practice, we hone our skills, and what those kids did is they were the best they could be on the field. And as long as they didn't walk off the field going nana nana boo boo, and they were a, a fair winner, and the other team was a fair loser, then I think you just practice to be better and get back out there. No, there's no bullying there. I mean, no, simply said, there's no bullying there, no. Not considering that they put their second and third strings in and they tried to run the clock out. No, I don't think that's bullying. As part of it, as being an ex-football coach, you've done everything to keep the, to make it fair other than throw the towel in. So I would not consider that bullying. Um, they obviously practiced hard, worked hard, and did what they were supposed to do. I have a very competitive little girl. I think that uh, the biggest thing in a parenthood is trying to teach her that when she wins, that she can celebrate um, with, with her team, with her family, uh, but she needs to always make sure she's treating the other kids fairly. And, uh, and if she loses, she needs to take it and she needs to say, okay, what can I do differently? How can I do better next time? Isn't that why we're all playing football? It's like to win and lose. I mean, there's no bullying there. I mean, like, surely enough, if there was bullying there, I think a rep would have called it out for, for some kind of contact or something. No, I don't. Because I think if you go to play football, you go to play football. The winning team's football coach says he pulled starters from the game, kept a conservative ground game, and allowed the clock to run uninterrupted after halftime. So now, we want to know what you think. Log on to our Facebook page and give us your two cents. I'm Jared Malden. Thanks for watching.